Hey, what's up? Thanks for checking out this video. So today I am going to show you how I was able to bypass the Hi There screen. I noticed that I was having an issue with my laptop, so I decided to back up all of my files using a portable hard drive, and I did a factory reset on the computer. So the factory reset was successful, but then I kept landing on the Hi There screen. I followed the prompts, and then it would say that it needed to reboot the computer. Computer. But when it rebooted, I landed right back on the high there screen and I wasn't able to bypass it and it just kept doing this. So I'm going to show you how I fix my computer. So I powered it completely off as it was booting up. I kept tapping the F12 key and I selected diagnostics on this screen. And then once I did that, it performed multiple tests and it actually pinpointed what my problem was so you'll be um, asked questions so just follow the prompts based on your observation for your scenario but I will show you exactly what the issue was with my laptop and what I did to resolve it so this test does take a couple of hours so as the different tests were running in the background I just did whatever else I needed to do and then I came back to it so yeah I'll show you exactly how I resolved my issue as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up, 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 level up. All this on me so yummy, all this sauce so yummy. No, you want this yummy, yummy all in your tummy. So once the testing was complete, I landed on this screen. You can see the service tag, error code, and validation code. And also below that, you see where it says hard drive. There is an, a URL that's included for Dell's website where you can plug in this information. It will tell you exactly what's wrong, or you can just go ahead and scan the QR code, which is that square that you see at the top right. And if you don't know, the QR stands for quick response. So when I scan the code, it determines that I needed a new hard drive. So I purchased one from Best Buy according to the box it was supposed to fit my laptop. But then when I got it home and I compared the new hard drive that I purchased to the old one, size wise, the new one was too thick. So I went on Dell's website and I found out that I had to purchase it from them. You cannot buy it from the store. So I got expedited shipping and I got it within a couple of days and you'll see me replacing the hard drive. And please be sure to check out this entire video because once I successfully replaced the hard drive, there were other steps that I had to take in order to successfully get to my desktop. There were other steps that I had to take, like for instance, when I initially purchased this computer, Windows 10 came with it. But when I did the reset and because I had to replace the hard drive, I no longer had Windows 10. I also didn't have Microsoft Office anymore. So I lost Excel, PowerPoint, um, you know, just Word, just things that came with with the computer. So I had to reinstall that and I'll show you what steps I had to take in order to get all of this back. And also with Microsoft Office, if you meet a certain criteria, you can actually get that back for free. So I'll tell you about that also in this video. That's old news, that's new news, I done did that before I turn up into something, my comeback on 100 Less talking, more action, you just gon' see see coming I just keep elevating, no losses, just upgrading My lessons, made blessings, I turn that into money They gotta never settle, this view is so much better I'm chilling, I'm winning, like on another level Oh, you can talk all you want Oh, you want this yummy? Yummy all in your tummy. Oh. 
Once I was done installing the hard drive, I was not able to get to my desktop, so I had to go directly to Microsoft's website and download Windows 10 for free. The only trick is because I couldn't get to my desktop, I had to use another computer to download Windows 10, and I also had to use a USB flash drive in order to do that. So here I'm just pressing the F2 key because I need to get to the boot menu. Some people refer to it as a legacy menu, and I know this picture isn't clear, so I included this screenshot so that you can see exactly what my setup is. But with the boot menu, I just want to instruct the laptop to go ahead and boot using the USB flash drive instead of the hard drive. And that's how I am going to be able to install Windows 10 on the computer. So once I set up the setting where I moved the USB storage option all the way to the top, I then restarted the computer. And once I did that I kept pressing the F12 key and with the F12 key there was an option to reboot it from the uh, USB flash drive and once I did that then I was able to start following the prompt so that way I could install Windows 10. So now that I can see my desktop and I have access to the internet, that's definitely a great sign. Now I am in the state of Virginia and I did find out that if you are a high school student or if you are a part-time student at a community college or a university, you actually have access to Microsoft Office for free. So if you're watching this video in another state, I'm not sure how it works, but you can always check with your school to see if this option is available for you because why pay for for it again if it's definitely free. So I really wanted to do this video because I know that some stores may charge like $200 or more to replace the hard drive and it really wasn't complicated at all. So if you feel that this video helped you, definitely please drop a comment in the comment section. Also share this video and like it and be sure to subscribe. And I have a variety of different videos. So also check out some of my other videos as well. So thanks for all of the support and until we meet again, bye.